a uh, another story that comes from TechCrunch. You remember that uh, the mega upload proprietors were arrested last week, just following the um, the big blackout day, uh, where uh, the SOPA and PIPA bills were pulled. Last Thursday, the U.S. Justice Department arrested uh, Kim.com, which apparently is his real name. Has to be. And uh, they also shut down Mega Upload. Now, I didn't realize how big Mega Upload is. But Mega Upload is like... um, it is estimated to be the 13th most visited site on the internet, accounting for 4% of all worldwide internet traffic. That's stunning. I thought it was, I thought, like I knew that we were not in the top 15 at majority.fm. Um, but I didn't realize that had we been, it, we would have accounted for that big of a percentage of the internet. I, I, we're probably closer down to like, one percent. Just think of all the dead links across the internet now that that site is down. Yeah. There was a 180 million registered users with over 50 million visiting the site daily. This is a huge site. So Matt Burns at TechCrunch has a piece where it's speculative. But apparently, Mega Upload... Now, I'm not fully... um, clear on how it worked, but it was, it was basically a, a, a download site, some of which were, uh, un, uh, I guess, unauthorized downloads, and some of which were authorized downloads. And they were working on a couple of different business models. Some of the authorized downloads uh, were basically put up there by, um, uh, by uh, artists, and um, the even though you got them for free, Meg Upload was paying the artists because apparently, I guess maybe you know whatever uh, advertising. advertising traffic. But they were also working on another business plan called Mega Box. It was a it just in beta, but it was essentially it's essentially like iTunes. Or like Amazon. And <clears throat> they were going to severely undercut iTunes and Amazon. Well, the record labels. Well, the record labels, but the point is, yes, essentially it would be cheaper, but the, the idea is that the artists would get 90% of the fees for the downloads as opposed to, I guess what they get like now is like 30%. 35 percent 60 65 percent goes to the distributor um mega box would cater to unsigned artists and allow anyone to sell their creations and they would allow a 90 percent of the earnings or artists could even give away their songs and would be paid through mega key which was the one where basically we pay you for uh, just the advertising value less money but um people are still downloading free. yeah and um you know, according to Matt Burns at TechCrunch, there's been attempts to knock off iTunes and Amazon or to challenge them. But Mega, Lo- uh, Mega Upload was so huge that they already had this massive platform uh, that, I mean, it was like mega. That's how big it was that um, it probably would have been able to pull it off. Now... I don't think, well, let me put it this way. This is the way I think it works. People pay attention to certain people who may be engaging in the same behavior as other people, but if those people represent a threat to them in a legal business, they become much more of a threat. And I think that's what we just saw. I think that's what we just saw. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean... There's only so much, I mean, I would imagine at one point this uh, dot-com is going to get out of jail. <laughs> and there's no reason to believe this is going to stop. 
But uh, it'll be interesting to see if they cut some type of deal. Very interesting.